Hi there. My name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we are part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where I take a look at the lectionary texts and I tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the narrative lectionary, and we are looking at uh, David's heart. Actually, we're looking at, looking at our heart. Psalm 51, create in me a clean heart, O God. And so I thought I would, I'm going to make us uh, some marks, kind of like a, kind of like a, a movie where they're in a prison cell and they're marking all the days that they've been there. Um, like, okay, there's one. I've been there's two, three, four, five, and th this is actually marking the things I've done wrong. And there's another. Yeah, I remember that one. That there's that. There's that. There's that. Okay. Um, here, let's do another. There and that. Couple more, couple more. Oh, oh. this is adding up fast. Um, and there. Okay, I've marked down everything I've done wrong. Oh, actually, I'm I'm lying. I better mark that one down too, and that one, and that one. Okay, this is for illustration purposes, mind you. And so I've marked the things down, um, and this kind of could represent my heart here. Actually, let's uh, let's do. Um, let's do here, well, I'm going to draw a heart, my, my pen work. So I've drawn a heart and in there is my heart's all marked up. There we are. Look at that. All marked up and things like that. And that just show that shows all of the, yeah, all of the ickiness, if you will. It's just the, it's the stuff I've done, the stuff I've left undone, as we say in our confession. And, and um, that's a mess. But in the prayer, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, we, we believe and God tells us that um, we have a way, a way out, a way of forgiveness, a way of, uh, of love. And so I, I have a candle that I've got brought with me that is uh, it is a symbol of God. It's a symbol of God's spirit, of God's love, of God's um, power, if you will. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can you can kind of see where our. Uh, all of the marks have been erased, have been gotten rid of, have been forgiven, if you will. Even our heart has been uh, cleaned. And so create in me a clean heart, O oh God. That's, that's the direction. That's the springboard. I'm going to blow this out for now. Um, and so there we are. And that's the direction using using a candle. Uh, if you don't want to use a candle, you can actually use a hand warmer uh, that you can get, you know, those uh, either a foot warmer or a hand warmer. But, um, but the candle works great because of the image of the fire and you're there. And what I am using is what's called a friction pen. And uh, I've done, I've used this in the past before and it's a great, uh, great thing using the friction pen, you can get it in two ways. The most common way is just a regular ballpoint pen, which works fine, which works really well. And you can use that. I actually have a collection of different colors. Um, you could use green, you could use brown, you could use, um, there's all kinds of different colors you can use and where you mark it. You could use red. Um, so, and then what I would do, and I didn't have this uh, prepped beforehand, I would write on a card, I would write the heart, you write the heart with regular ink, like a regular marker, maybe a, a Sharpie. You draw that heart and that's your heart. And you have that written beforehand and then you take the friction pen and you, you make your marks. Now, a friction pen, it's set to where it vanishes by heat. There's a little rubber thing on the back here and actually if I, if I rub the rub it, you can actually see how it's vanished. Because and all that is is heating it up. You um, 
quicken that process with uh, with heat, with a flame, and that and the flame, of course, just adds to the um, adds to the illustration, if you will. It's great, love it, um, and that's the springboard for today. Now, if you don't have, you know, you can order the friction pen. A lot of office supply stores will have it. You can order it on Amazon. You can order it on other places, or you can go down to uh, uh, Office Depot, Office Max, something like that. They sh they might have them in stock, uh, but you can get them fairly quickly, fairly easily. If you don't have that, the other option is at the Dollar Tree, they have the magnetic boards. They have the boards there where you, where you like the, almost like an Etch-a-Sketch, but it's, uh, it's, you know, you draw on it, you can draw on it with a magnetic pen. There's a magnet and it pulls up the iron pieces underneath and uh, you draw on it and you mark it, mark it. And then when you slide the bottom, sl when you slide the bottom, it removes all of the writing. And so that's another a way to illustrate the, of that forgiveness that it's been removed. So that works easily as well. Uh, these are not expensive, but you are you actually you have to order them. You have to get them. Uh, but the other ones at the Dollar Tree are a buck. So that's you can try those as well. So that's the springboard for this. Uh, I hope you can find use in it. And um, thank you so much for stopping by and being partners in this ministry. And it's a strange time. I let me rephrase that because it seems like we're always in a strange time. But a year and a half ago was hard. This has its own level of difficulty and hardness, and um, yeah, you get it. And so God's blessings be on you. I know that your congregations appreciate your ministry, and if they forget to tell you, let me tell you. Um, God bless you for the work you're doing. You're rocking it, and uh, uh, know that you are in my prayers. All right? Peace, and we'll see you next week.